and register your purchase online. Hey. Okay. Now What's up, guys? Cushberries. Um. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday night. I am having a great Tuesday night. It's cool. Um, no token, no smoking, no dabbing. You know, I had three in the past couple days, so I thought that was at least enough output for toking for this week. This will be my last video this week um, until I get some bud, which could be tomorrow or it could be, you know, Thursday. So. Either Wednesday or Thursday night, I will have a, another toking video, and that will be my night that night. Um, question of today: What is your favorite? You know, what is your favorite strain to smoke? Out of all the strains you smoke, whether it's a Kush, Indica, well, that's that's one of the three plants. Whether it's OG, Kush, you know. Um, Haze, purple haze, you know, lemon haze, whatever you want, you know, whatever, whatever it is, what is your favorite, you know, like mine, my first, my, this is my, the best one I've ever had, and this is my favorite strain I've ever had, out of all the strains, um, what is it, uh, Platinum Bubble Love OG, and this is a rare one that I got two, three, almost three years ago. Bonus, I took five tokes off a little freaking joint, and I was just like so fucked up. I was, I was just like wobbling. I was like, uh, uh. I could not walk straight. I was so woozy from it, but I felt so fucked up from it, so baked. Um, yeah, that's my question of the day. You guys can. Comment down below. You can also like down below. You know how the, yeah, you do that. You know, like, like, like that shit, motherfuckers. Um. So yeah, that that's been my week. If you guys look at my previous three, four videos, it's it's very good. You know, it's not bad. It is actually very very nice lately. I'm really loaning, lo, running low lately on a lot of my bud, so when it comes to me spending, you know, when I, everyone knows this, everyone who makes a video knows they have a budget, they have to deal with, how, how are they going to afford their, you know, their, their, uh, med, their meds this month, you know, or, you know, some people just have to pay for other stuff ahead of that, you know, that's not my first priority of each month. But it is something I have to, you know, eventually I'm going to have to put it in my head. Okay, you know, I've smoked in um, two, maybe three weeks just saying, you know, and I'm like, all right, screw it. I've got to get, you know, a couple good grams for this week just so it helps me out. And that's that's what you try to do, and that's what I'm trying to do. And all right here's another question of the day this is something you don't even have to answer actually you don't have to answer any of my questions but this is just one I'm interested in it's weird if you watch doomsday preppers they'll show a bunch of people who believe in the end of the world and shit and I don't believe in that but I think it's interesting it's pretty cool they figure out their stuff and these guys are pre prep preparing for like a dirty bomb attack you know and that the idea of a dirty bomb is it's an easy material you can get, and it's basically like radiated, you know, you can get radiated stuff from medical equipment, science, military, and also from uh, construction pl places. They will, you know, sell stuff with radioactive stuff in it, and it's easy to make a dirty bomb. And it's a dirty bomb, and that's what they've said in the show. And, um... They're all wearing, you know how you wear the white or yellow suits and this, you know, make sure you're not contaminated. You also wear the masks. Well, that's what they're doing, but they have their three or four kids have like a big, they look like big, they're not like plastic bags, but they're, excuse me, they're like thick plastic. And I don't, at first, they just look like plastic bags. You maybe put, you know, stuff you don't want to get water on or, you know, dirty. Keeps it clean. And that's what they'll do, you know. And it just, I, I think these things are open or they got 
Well, now I see it. They've got a tube connected to it, and it's got to go to an air source. But it's like, why would you do that? You know, you're not going to put a bag on your head like that. They should be wearing masks, just like the main dude in this one episode. He's he's checking them for radiation with a radiation detector. And the kids are wearing the, the little things, and he's just wearing an actual mask. It's like, okay, why don't they wear the mask and the thing on their head? Then it's more protection. And they're not going to get, you know, suffocate. You know, they're not going to suffocate from that crap. And it, it's so retarded that they're not, you know, thinking smarter about their kids and the safety of their kids. With those. If someone pulls one of the hoses out of theirs and fucking seals it up, and you just think about it. If, if something was to actually happen, so many people would try to fuck with you and your family. And when it comes to, like... They come around behind the kids. Well, all they have to do is rip the freaking hose out. It's one, one rip, one pull the back of the freaking thing, and you suffocate those kids. And that's it. You know, I'm sorry. I know it sounds harsh, but that's that. That is how it is. So. So that's how it is. You know. But um, good show. If you like these kind of shows. All right, guys. Cushberries. I have to go. You know, get some work done. Tomorrow or Thursday, I will have a toking steamroller video. Uh, I'll try to get up also a dabbing video either tomorrow or Monday, and I'll just do that off my camera phone. I already did one yesterday. My phone just blowing up, blowing out his dab. I'll have one of a dab. All right, guys. Peace.